Hey everyone, welcome to the May 2020 Jampacks.net Old School Jam Pack. This is the first one of these that I've ever ordered and it's the first one that I ever will have opened. I've definitely seen a lot of you guys out there open them up and I always like what I see. And uh, you know me, I love Hall of Famers, especially Hall of Fame rookie cards, so... This really seems like the way to go. Get to open some old school wax packs and get some Hall of Famer goodies. So really looking forward to this. Let's uh, get right into it and see what we've got. Check out our literature here. Welcome to the May 2020 edition of Jam Packs, Old School Edition, the Feeling Chipper box. Here you will find 20 packs from 1981 to 1996, 12 singles in a team bag, 100 card sleeves, 25 top loaders, and our custom gold jam pack, which contains one Hall of Famer rookie card and one Hall of Famer certified autograph card. So, among other things, it looks like we've got 82 Donruss, 87 Donruss, 88 Fleer, 89 Tops, 91 Tops, 91 Score Series 2, 91 Upper Deck, 91 Bowman. Awesome. There's our gold pack. Got our team bag of singles. First and foremost, let's check out what we got for packs here. So 88 Fleer, 88 Donruss Cello Pack. This is our 91 Score Series 2. We got 90 Score. 91 Leaf. Studio from 92. 92 Leaf. I'm not sure I've ever opened 92 Leaf before. Series 1. 93 Pinnacle Series 1. Huh. You know, usually you see 92 Pinnacle in these things. Well, I mean, not jam packs in particular, but it seems like every time you get a repack and there's Pinnacle, it's 92. I'm, I honestly don't recall 93 Pinnacle off the top of my head. 92 Fleer Ultra, 93 Fleer Ultra, Upper Deck, Collector's Choice, 94 Series 1. Man, that's a lot of cards. We got uh, 88 Tops Rack Pack. Definitely takes me back. 89 Tops, 87 Tops. Ah, oh, look at that, 82 Don Russ. 87 Don Russ, 91 Tops, 91 Bowman, 91 Upper Deck, 1990 Upper Deck. All right, got our top loaders, soft sleeves, and uh, just gonna get this box out of the way here. All right, I'm just gonna quickly throw these together by year. I'm gonna save our 82 for last for sure. All right, here's what I think the plan is. I'm gonna save the 82 Don Russ for absolute last. So we'll keep him up here. And, you know, really the big mystery to me is the, 
the gold pack here. The rest of these are all just, you know, the usual unopened pack crapshoot. So we get what we get in them. I'm thinking I'll do the singles and the gold pack first. Then do all our packs ending with the 82 Donruss. So, we got a 87 tops Cal Ripken on the back and an 85 tops Robin Yount on the front. So, off to a pretty good start, I'd say. Tom Glavin, this is Leaf from what year? 92. Now, you know me, I love food cards. So we've got a uh, Quaker Oats Granola Bars Daryl Strawberry. That is really cool. 1986. Uh, that's definitely one of my favorites. Rod Carew Diamond Kings from, what year is this? 82. Nice. 90 tops Mattingly. 83 tops Jim Palmer. 88, Ricky Henderson, 82, Eddie Murray. George Brett, Upper Deck from 93. We got 84 tops batting and pitching leaders. Not bad at all. Put those guys back here. All right doing the gold pack I know a lot of folks save the gold pack for last but this is really the main attraction I didn't completely rip there we go we've got 91 tops traded Yvonne Rodriguez. Very nice. Right, I'm going to see if I can open this without looking at the back here. See who our auto is. Paul Molitor. Awesome. You know, you can't go too wrong with a Hall of Fame autograph. You know, but to me, it's certainly one of the better ones I could hope for. This is uh, obviously Don Russ product. What is this here? 2018. Sticker auto. Yeah, I like that a lot. Very cool. Let's shuffle this around a little bit here. All right, these later packs, 94, collector's choice. See, a lot of these, you know, until we get back to the real early 90s into the 80s, I'm not going to have a real good idea who to look for because sort of early to mid 90s is when I started getting out of the hobby in the first place. So that's my... That's my card collecting void, where I'm really not familiar with a lot of the sets or the cards. And I do definitely remember Upper Deck's inverted card shenanigans. We got them sticking together a little bit here. Steve Buschel, Walt Guzman. So this is, if I didn't mention it, this is 94 Upper Deck Series 1. Swift. So I guess these are all horizontal layout. Bobby Bonilla. Oh, maybe not. Ken Hill. Was that some kind of silver signature parallel, I guess? The collector's choice sets always seems like they were big on that.
Anthony Young, Kenny Rogers, Oof. What we got here? Miguel Jimenez, rookie class. Gabe White, rookie class. So, looks like there's nothing big there. Let's check out these 93 Pinnacle. All right, 93 Pinnacle also with the black borders. These look a little nicer than 92. Look glossier. They got the gold foil. Let's see what we've got here. See a Ricky Henderson coming up. There's Jim Abbott. It's a great one back in the day. Of course, Ricky Henderson's always welcome. What an absolute machine he was. Jose Canseco, when he played for the Rangers. Is this Wally Joyner? Yeah, I remember when he was a sought after rookie card back in the day. I think, uh, was it 87 Tops? I can't remember if 87 Tops was his rookie card or his uh, Gold Cup card or maybe both. Definitely remember being excited finding that one in packs, though. Ken Herbeck. Hometown Heroes. That's an interesting insert. Burt Blylevin. Now and then. Very cool. Hall of Famer, Burt Blylevin. 93 Fleer Ultra. I feel like I didn't set up enough space for this. Like, there's just packs everywhere here. Ooh, yeah, these are sticking pretty good. And with the light, these are just tough to read the way the foil shines. Paul Sorrento. Tim Wakefield. Oh, that's his rookie. That's very cool. You know, I always thought to myself I should pick up Wakefield's rookie card. <laughs> yep, I like it. Pedro Martinez. Now... He actually had an earlier rookie card though, didn't he? That's still pretty cool. I think uh, it was a previous year upper deck set. He was in the in the high number, I believe. Dwight Smith. Come on, give it up. Greg Olson. I think this is a pretty good pack. Pedro Martinez and Tim Wakefield back to back. Frank Viola, Bob Welsh. So these names are definitely bringing me back. Bernie Williams. What was his rookie year? I want to say it was 91, right? Or maybe it was later than that. Ninety two studio. Interesting. Yeah, I don't remember these at all. 
Edgar Martinez, very nice. Sort of uh, insert we have here, Heritage Series, Carlton Fisk. Always cool to find an insert of a Hall of Famer. Dwight Gooden, my son will love that one. Ken Herbeck. Trey's moving around on me here. Matt Noakes, why oh, I'd forgotten about him. Benito Santiago. All right, 92 Leaf or 92 Fleer Ultra. Let's do the Fleer Ultra. Hmm. Yeah, these are not what I was expecting. I had something different pictured in my head. It's getting these confused with another Fleer product. These are nice. They are sticking together though. Snyder. And a checklist. Ninety two leaf. We've got a pretty unfortunate corner situation on Ron Gant here. Oh, that was our black parallel, too. That kind of stinks. Greg Jeffries never ever pulled that guy's rookie card out of the eighty eight Don Russ set. Opened a lot of those packs back in the day. Looking for him. Never found him. Berto Alomar. Nothing huge there. All right. These are the 91s. All right. I feel like I want to do the 1990 cards first. Then we'll come back to the 91s, see if we can find Chipper. And these packs are terrible. What was it? John Jabs that calls them trash bags. <laughs> Very appropriate. Ozzy Guillen. Oh, yes, the trivia card. Nope. Well, 1990 Upper Deck. Let's see if maybe we can pull Frank Thomas or Larry Walker out of here. I don't believe I have either of them. Oh. Upper deck, what are we going to do with you? Paul Molitor goes along with our auto. Expose sticker. Dave Bichette, Greg Jeffries again. There's a cool Schmidt insert. Mike Schmidt retires. Marquis Grissom. I feel like he was a good one back in the day. Wow, 
was kind of hoping we'd get something good out of that one. It was not to be. Oh, let's go ahead and do the, the 91 here. The 91 everything. What first? I feel like 91 score is something we should just get out of the way. Chris Sabo, look at that face. <laughs> that is terrible. <laughs> uh, I've been putting together a pile of cards with players making just awful faces. Most of them had pretty bad faces to begin with. And uh, yeah, they're, they're getting sent to somebody, so I'm setting him aside. Another trivia card. Dave Justice, that would have been a cool one back in the day. Ricky Henderson, nice. Doug Drabeck, Cy Young Award. Wally Joyner, again. All right, Tom Lampkin, Dan Boone. Yep. Yeah. Struck out on that one. 91 Leaf. Mm. Yeah, let's do 91 Leaf. A couple of you guys have told me how fun these jam packs are, and uh, it's, it's definitely, definitely a blast. I was expecting it to be fun, but this is even better, better than I expected. Just to have such a, such an assortment of different old packs to go through. Because I would never buy a whole box of any of these these days and open them, but you know, just to get a pack of each is you know, just the right amount of fun. There's Roger Clemens, Andre Dawson, Tops Bowman or Upper Deck. I'm thinking Tops. Parker, I feel like I get a lot less dinged corners in old wax packs than modern packs of like anything. It seems like anytime I'm opening a hanger box or a blaster box or hobby packs, it's like I always got goofed up corners on stuff and just in the wax packs, I don't know, it just doesn't seem to happen. Dave Justice Gold Cup card. Some print registration issues. That would have been a cool one back in the day. Let's do 91 Bowman. I had forgotten that 91 Bowman came with gum. Yeah, there's a Conseco. Yeah, wait a minute. What's with the little foil bats on there? That is... That's something a little different. I don't know what that's all about. I am not familiar with this set really at all. There's a Bernie Williams rookie, it's decent. Here we go, 91 upper deck. I opened as much of these as I could afford when I was a kid, I guess, teenager, barely. And uh, that wasn't much, because these were expensive packs back in the day. Very cool. Oh, I got excited when I saw the Astros logo there. 
<laughs> Faked me out. Giant twins hollow sticker. Jose leaned. It's a nice Ricky Henderson. Check out that. <laughs> To the end here. It's a pretty bad face too. Not sure if that one qualifies yet. All right, so I just decided to check on my camera, and it's a good thing I did because it decided to stop recording for absolutely no reason whatsoever. Um, I had just decided that 88 tops was the low man on the totem pole out of 88 tops, Donruss, and Fleer. Uh, so I think you missed me opening the 89 tops pack, but I mean, the only thing you missed was duplicate Ken Howells in the same pack, so it just stinks that we're not having a contiguous recording here. So here we're going with 88 tops. I mean, if I can get into them. The trick with a little strip didn't work this time. Maybe we'll find a Glavin in here. I think he's the only Hall of Fame rookie you'll find in 88 tops. At least in the, the base set. And there's Alomar in the uh, traded set. It's Clemens. And this was still before the uh, traded sets were available in packs. The only way you could get them was by a complete set. I want to say 91 was the first year you could get tops traded in individual packs. Pete Rose manager card. You make me get out the knife again. The all-star card, John McNamara. Yep, really nothing great in there. All right, there's some decent stuff in 88 Fleer. And uh, 88 Donruss. You know what, it's a terrible card and it's not worth anything, but really want to pull that Greg Jeffries for some reason. Because I never got to back in the day. I think Alomar's in 88 Donruss. And I assume Glavin also. I'm not sure I've ever seen the 88 Donruss Glavin. A nice cello pack here though. Two puzzle pieces. Wally Joiner again. We found one of him in every year so far. <laughs> Tommy John. Jim Rice. All right, 88 Fleer. Oh, that's a pretty iffy looking pack. Look at that. Yeah, I don't know about this. Came apart pretty easily too. I 
you know, one card in the middle of a pack that's got a little side ding. None of the ones around it. Yeah, that seems like a tampered pack to me. Don Mattingly. Yep, yeah, nothing. All right. 87 tops. I think 86 tops were the first wax packs I opened when I was a kid. But uh, must have been late in the season or maybe real early 87. Because I remember pretty quickly 87 tops springing up in the stores, and that's what we opened the most of, I think. Tony Pena. Barry Bonds would be nice here. I don't think I actually have his uh, 87 tops yet. All right, 87 Donruss. Yellow stuff all over the... Yeah, I don't know about some of these packs, man. <laughs> all right. Another Molitor. Nice. Hey, Bo Jackson. That's definitely one we're looking for in this pack. A little bit of a thing in the bottom. That's a cool card, and actually it's one that I don't have. I've got his 86 tops traded. So that can hang out up here. Wally Joyner, again. <laughs> actually, isn't this his sort of rookie card, too? Cool. Here it is. Last pack. And that is uh, pretty rugged looking. I'm not feeling good about this. But let's see how she goes. At least the puzzle pieces took the brunt of it. I mean, that is nasty. Glenn Hoffman, Fred Stanley, Eddie Solomon. These are neat cards. I like the early Don Russ and Fleers. Dave Parker, Diamond Kings, that's cool. That's Parrish. All right, nothing real big there. So you know, overall, that's all right. Got a great auto, a few good rookies, and uh, and had a blast. Most importantly, got to get a look at that face. That right there, totally worth the price of admission. All right, so next time, I promise we're gonna go through the vintage pickups that I got recently. Got a whole stack of them, and uh, one in particular, I've got some great stuff, but one in particular I am super, super excited about. And uh, I think you guys will like it too. Anyways, thanks for watching, and uh, catch you next time.